BIOS stands for Basic Input Output System. It controls device initializations such as CPU, memory, etc. Bootloader to determine which hard drive to boot from, and a lot of functions that are rather unfamiliar to normal users. You don't need to enter BIOS to run the computer, but if you plan to build your own rig, eventually you'll have to make friends with BIOS. This video will introduce the MSI BIOS Easy Mode interface, which is good for getting to know your computer. To begin with, you will have to press the lead button on your keyboard during boot phase to enter BIOS. The very first page you will see is the Easy Mode page. Before configuring BIOS settings, it's good to know how to actually navigate in BIOS. Using mouse is always an option, but to look more professional, let's get to know how to do it with keyboard. By going to Help tab or press F1, there is a very clear instruction of function and hotkey of your keyboard. Two functions that I personally find very useful is the F8 and F9 key, which loads and save overclocking profile. This feature saves and loads your current BIOS settings, so you don't have to reconfigure the settings every time the BIOS is reset. Screenshot is also a very convenient way to explain problem to others, so you don't have to write a whole essay every time when you try to say what BIOS option you've changed. You can simply press F12 to snip the screen. Let's move to the BIOS header. It contains many good-to-know data for troubleshoot. For example, if you want to check your current BIOS version, you come here to look for exact BIOS version instead of saying, hey, I have the latest version from the website, which can be very confusing or misleading. Next is the Gain Boost section. In my case, CPU part is completely gray out since I don't have a K-Skewer CPU, which supports overclocking. On the right side, you can select XMP profile to increase memory frequency to advertise speed while your memory module supports it. I will recommend leaving CPU gain boost at disable, mainly because modern CPU performance is almost maxed out out of the box. Enabling gain boost might give you a little bit of performance gain, but the trade-off with thermal or stability is not worthy. For memory, you should always enable it when it's available. Other tab, including CPU, memory, storage, fan information will tell you the detailed information of each device. Nothing surprise here, you can browse it if you want. Next is the M flash tab. Whenever you want to flash your BIOS, this is the tab you want to click. The process is very, very straightforward. You put the file in your USB pen drive, and after clicking the tab, it will ask you to select BIOS file and start flashing it. Or you can try our forum flash tool, in case by any chance mFlash does not work the way you want. Favorites is one of the interesting function. For the first time you click favorite, it has nothing in it. What it does is you can add specific BIOS item here for easy access. For example, I want to change the following two items quickly, which are BIOS, CSM, and UEFI mode, and advanced CPU configurations. I find the item in advanced mode and press F2 to secure them to favorite item. Once I've done that, I can modify them in favorite menu very, very quickly. I can also customize item name by pressing F2 on favorite item. It's such a pity to have only 5 items at most, because of course, more is better, but I have to say it's more than enough for me. I'll explain hardware monitor in another video, but just saying if you ever want to customize your fan profile, this is where you want to visit. It's much better comparing to software, which requires background process to run all the time. Last feature that I want to mention is the search function. It's the same as every other search function and the same hotkey, Ctrl plus F. It works most of the time, 
but I have to say it can miss some items as well, such as Intel virtualization. You will not be able to search the item in the search menu. I know lots of people believe no result means the option is not there, but trust me, you better Google online yourself or ask someone on MSI forum before making such conclusion. This is probably all for the BIOS easy mode. Leave comment if you have any question. I'll see you around.